Georgia. What is spinal muscular atrophy? So spinal muscular atrophy, which is sometimes just called SMA, is a group of neurodegenerative disorders that is defined by degeneration of motor neurons, which leads to progressive muscle weakness. Are there different types of SMA? Yeah, so there are four main subtypes of SMA, all defined by the age of onset and severity. So SMA1 uh, refers to a group where the onset is referred, is, um, starts from before six months, and this is the most common SMA and the most severe. SMA2 has an onset between uh, six to 18 months. Uh, SMA3 has an onset between childhood and adolescence and SMA4 has an onset um, during early adulthood and this is the most, um, sorry, the least common and the least severe form of SMA. Georgia, while you're there, can you tell me the incidence of SMA and some of the clinical features? So SMA has an incidence of between 1 in 6,000 to 1 in 10,000 live births. It's actually one of the most common of um, neurodegenerative disorders in children and babies. And the main clinical feature of SMA is muscle weakness and muscular atrophy, um, otherwise known as mus muscul muscular wasting. Uh, secondary to this, we do see scoliosis, um, respiratory difficulties, because the muscles that are affected are most commonly um, in the lower limbs and around um, the trunk and respiratory muscles. Um, also um, muscular contractures, joint instability and um, joint contractures. Uh, also we commonly see tremors, particularly in the hands. So Georgia, what are the causes of SMA? So SMA is most commonly caused by an autosomal recessive inheritance. And essentially what this means is that the child must receive um, the same genetic mutation from both parents in the SMN1 gene. Now this gene is responsible for um, making all the proteins that are really important for neural health. So with this genetic mutation, um, the neural health is affected and in the case of SMA, it does lead to progressive muscle weakness. Are there medical treatments available? So yeah, it's firstly important to understand that there is currently no cure for SMA. However, there are a number of different medications that are currently being trialled. One of the most common that you may have heard of is mucinersin, which um, came out a few years ago. And um, its main um, purpose is to try and limit the severity of progression of disease. Um, and we're keeping our eye on the space for more up and coming treatments. So Georgia, are there any therapy treatments that are available for SMA? So we know that the most important therapy treatment for SMA is exercise therapy. Exercise therapy is really important for maintaining muscle mass, improving muscle weakness, um, preventing muscular contracture, preventing joint instability, um, preventing the severity of disability and therefore improving quality of life. It's also really important that children receive regular monitoring for their scoliosis and regular monitoring for their respiratory health. And again, we really look forward to more research in this area. We hope you found all of this information really useful about SMA. So if you'd like any more information about this topic, head over to our website.